quarterback Kyle McCord. Kyle, good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, good. And uh, first, I know uh, at the game against BC, they got after you pretty good. And you personally had a, a pretty decent day, uh, you know, at uh, QB. But you were rushed a- around a lot, and they, you were getting hit a lot after the pass. Uh, does, that, does that hurt? <laughs> Did any of those? Or is it just it's just rumble, tumble, it's football, and, it, and it's part of it? They hurt when they're incomplete, but... Um... <laughs> If you throw a pass and you get hit, and but it's complete down the field, it doesn't hurt at all. You pop right back up. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they did a good job up front. Um, I think that was probably one of the better uh, defensive lines that we faced this year. And, um, you know, they, they got some good players, so they definitely made some plays. And was and going into the game with the scouting reports, despite their record, and I know we talked about that last week, is that something that was any surprise at all to anybody, their aggressiveness and their defensive line play? No, not really. Um, you know, watching the film, we knew uh, what type of game it was going to be. And, you know, anytime you play uh, a good D-line, they're going to make plays, um, but you just have to try to limit them as much as possible. And, um, you know, they, they just made one too many plays, and, um, you know, we didn't. And, uh, you know, ultimately, uh, it's tough when, you know, it's a, a close game like that, and you, you go back and you watch the film, there's, you know, one or two plays here or there that, uh, you would like to change, but you know that's football. And I think this year we've been on uh, the right side of that a few times, and as well as the other side. So um, just got to keep growing from it, keep learning from it, um, and uh, you know move on to Cal this week. I know uh, Coach Fran in his press conference and uh, referencing basically two plays that are the difference between six and three and eight and one. You know the the fourth and nine and then the fourth and one uh, at the game at the BC. So it's l- literally two plays away from an, you know, a different storyline here. So that's how that's college football. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, you know, that's, that's how the games have, have come down this year. I feel like it, pretty much every single game that we've been in has been close for the most part. Um, and, you know, I think obviously you don't, you know, want to put the, the game and, you know, the, the fate of one play, but, you know, when, when you're playing against quality opponents, that's, you know, it's a lot of the NFL games. That's how they go. Sure. They come down to the wire every single week. So, um, you know, it's football. And I, I think, you know, when, when you're in those situations, I'm always confident that we're going to make the plays. And a lot of times this year we have, um, you know, but obviously when, you know, you don't, it's a bad feeling. But, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, it's any, you know, one particular person's fault or one group's fault. Um, You know, I feel like collectively as a team, we all could have played a little bit better. Now, at that stadium at at, uh, BC, do they have a a big jumbotron screen? Mm -hmm. And did they play back in Boston, Arande's amazing one-handed touchdown catch or not because it's their stadium? Well, when when it happened, um, that was right in front of their student section. So I threw it. Um, and I kind of lost Aranda as the ball was in the air. Like I didn't really see him. And then I heard their student section going crazy. I'm like, no way. Just pick that off. Oh. So, so I thought it was an interception. And so I, I like looked to the side and Aranda had the ball and he was like celebrating. I'm so like, you know, I'm not sure what happened. And then I look back on the, the replay after the play and they played, I was like, wow, like that was probably the best catch, um, you know, I've ever Scene uh, that was amazing. Eyes. Yeah, that was that was impressive. I didn't stay up. I didn't know if that was on the Sports Center for a top ten play. If it wasn't, it should have been. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I mean, that's thing like that. Though is he does stuff like that in practice all the time. Um, so seeing in the game was pretty cool, though. That was a big play. Uh, now again, referencing a Coach Friends Monday press conference, uh, he said, and he was, I think, kind of joking when he said it. But like you know, after a loss, he doesn't even shower. I don't know if you saw that in the press conference. I don't think he was joking. Oh, <laughs> I, joking. <laughs> he, yeah. he said, I think he said, I don't deserve soap. Yeah. I know, it, you know, and obviously everybody wants to win every game. But um, uh, so that sounds like it might have been true then. Like yeah. he just, that's, He's a competitor. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I feel like he he takes every loss, um, you know, on, on the chin. And, you know, whether, you know, it's his fault or not. Um you know, I know that as, as the head coach, he feels that responsibility. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, I want to win for him. Like, you know, that's my guy. And, um, you know, it's tough when we don't pull it out because I, I know, you know, how much he puts on his shoulders and he's not even the one out in the field playing. Um, but, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, he, he definitely takes it, uh, takes it personal. Uh, 
Now on to the game at Cal. And earlier in the year, obviously you guys flew out to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Similar flight out there. But does it, because of the the flight out there, does it seem like a short week? Or Uh, not really? Yes. It it seems like a short week in terms of like, you know, you're so used to your routine, doing everything at the facility um, and, you know, doing everything, uh, you know, leading up to the game. Um, and obviously when you have a home game, you have all week and then, you know, away games, you know, most of the time it's, you know, a short hour long flight, but for those games, uh, you know, leaving a day early, it feels sped up. And then once you get out there, it feels like you're out there forever. I know when we played UNLV, we got out there, uh, we played on Friday, we got out there on a Wednesday. Um, and it felt like we were out there forever, you know, with practice. And then the next day, um, you know, obviously the game's not until tomorrow and, uh, you have, you know, a day full of meetings and walkthroughs and stuff like that. And it, you know, kind of, you know, takes forever. And then even, uh, you know, we played them on Friday. It was a night game, so it felt even longer. But, That's true. Um, you know, I think it's good. Uh, you know, obviously you want to get as much done uh, while you're still in Syracuse. But, um, you know, when you get out there, too, you got to continue to prepare. And for Cal, I know earlier in the week we talked with uh, Don McPherson, the former quarterback at SU, our Monday morning quarterback. And he, uh, he's one of the, he has a vote, like, for the top 25 each week. So he mm-hmm. is paying a lot of attention, obviously, to all the teams and all the games. He called Cal, and just because of the record, the best, worst team in the country in that their four losses have been a combined total of nine points. So yeah. looking at the record, you might not get it. But when you see them play, mm-hmm. uh, they're deceivingly good. Does yeah. that sound accurate? 100%. Um, like you said, you know, they've lost uh, four games by... Uh, you know, literally one possession every single game, sometimes one point. Um, and they play everybody tough, and I think they got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Um, they got a, a DB who's leading the nation in, in uh, interceptions. They got, um, you know, a lot of experience, too. So um, it's going to be a good game, and I know their offense just put up a ton of points, too. Um, so both sides of the ball are going to come ready to play. And uh, last but not least, on the flight over from here to Cal, long flight, obviously, who on the team has the most uncomfortable trip for that long in an airplane? Uh, I would say Savion because he's like 6'8", um, but uh, he got the front row, so they, oh. they, they took care of him. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah, they took care of him, so I don't know. <laughs> Probably someone who's stuffed in like the back in the middle seat. I don't know who, who that would be. Uh that can't be a fun five-hour trip. <laughs> back middle seat right near the bathrooms back there. Yeah, I can't be good. That's not a good spot. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, thanks. As always, go Orange. Good luck. We'll check in again uh, next week. Yep.